Hello everybody. So this is it. This is my new studio lounge. I know you can't see the whole thing right now. Um, I'm just more or less doing a test shoot here with my new camera. I have a Sony RX10 or the DSC RX10. Uh, just, this thing is, this camera terrifies me. Honestly, I'm not a techie kind of person. I'm not a expert photographer and I bought a camera that's way out of my league and so you know I'm just getting used to all the different features right now I've just put it on auto mode so it's doing all the adjustments automatically but uh, I'm learning also how to get I'm trying to get familiar with all the, the the custom features as well the manual stuff because there's so much in the Sony camera, it's just unbelievable. This is going to take me months to just figure out and, and figure out what's really useful for doing videos. Um, here, let me just introduce you to Jerry here. Uh, see his head box like that. Say hello, Jerry. Hello, guys. I don't know if that's how his voice is going to sound in the future, but Jerry is my alter ego. Uh, he's going to help me out do future videos. He's a little bit of a troublemaker and I don't trust him completely, but he really wanted to be a part of what I'm doing here on YouTube. So we'll see how we can fit Jerry into the uh, whole uh, new uh, direction that I'm going with my YouTube channel. Bad Daddy Vegan, yes. I'm a bad daddy, man, I'm a bad daddy. Um, so yeah, Jerry, I named him after my good friend from my childhood years, who is no longer with us. He died in his 40s of a heroin overdose. Um, he lived a pretty wild life. But, you know, growing up with him, we had some really fun adventures. And I'll get into all that stuff in the future. Um, and so I have a lot of fun memories um, with times that I had spent with Jerry. Unfortunately, he just knew no limits. And uh, anyhow, so um i have another chair over here just like this one and um i would like to do um i like to have people in here and, and do collaboratives do interviews so if you live in the toronto area and you think you've got something interesting that you would like to share you might already have a youtube channel you're more than welcome you know give contact me um send me a message you know um you can message me on facebook go to my um david kelly basically i'm uh, search david kelly on Fa I'll, I'll leave my facebook link uh in below i actually have a bad daddy you can also go to bad daddy vegan on facebook you'll find me under that name as well and uh you can message me and we can set up a date to do something here uh, i've already got um, we, we don't have a date set up, but the Vegetable Police will definitely be um, doing a collaborative with me in here. He's helped me out a lot with the technical stuff, and uh, it's this has been a lot of fun putting all putting all this together. Like you can't see the, the lighting that I have set up. Um, I got a couple of LCD lights with. Uh, well, you know, maybe one day I'll, what I'll do is I'll just do a tour of the lounge. And, and, you know, this is my bedroom as well. Like, I really just redecorated everything. I, I've been busy just, you know, doing the whole Martha Stewart thing in here. And, uh, you know, even the artwork behind me, if, if you can call that artwork, um, I did myself. And there's a lot of versatility in this room. Like, behind me here is a... A nice big blank wall so if I want to do a, a stand-up video um, with just the blank wall behind me and and then have maybe a different kind of mood uh, set I can do that I could also put 
different colored sheets on the wall, again, to uh, give a different ambiance to, you know, depending on what the subject is and, uh, you know, what I'm, what the video is about, basically. So, um, yeah, I think, I don't know if I have anything really, I, I don't have anything planned to talk about. Actually, you know what? Let me just get into a little bit of controversy here for the fun of it, okay? So, um, Freely the Banana Girl um, came to my attention, and I looked, checked out this video that she did on uh, Nicole Arbor's recent controversial video, Dear Fat People. And, you know, this video, you know, Nicole Arbor, if you're not familiar with her, She's a comedian, she does satire, and um, she loves attacking anything that's politically correctly sensitive. And so she did this whole thing on fat shaming and how it's not a thing. And of course, you know, boy, did she stir the pot on that one. But it's really, you know, made her video go viral. And I mean, she's even done uh, TV interviews and you know the whole nine yards. She's got the whole all the media coverage you can imagine. Anyways, Freely, um, her followers requested that you know Freely put her two cents worth in, and so I looked at Freely's video, and you know, Freely, what can I say? It's it's like, um, and this is this is my contention with veganism in general. Like you know we. As vegans, you can just get stuck in this kind of ghetto where all you see is, you know, you only see the world according to your vegan point of view. You've got your your vegan sunglasses on and everything is colored accordingly. Everything gets filtered through that vegan ideology. And it doesn't have to be all about that. And so Freely is trying to be, you know, Freely's not being inflammatory here. She's trying to be calm and objective. And, you know, she even makes some positive points about Nicole and agrees with her on a few things like, you know, the whole issue of political correctness. Um, but at the end of the day, Freely, all she is doing is hijacking this video to basically preach her message of high carb, low fat veganism. Now, that's fine. I mean, um, that's what Freely does. This is her thing, you know, that's what she's built her whole career on. And, you know, being a high carb, low fat vegan myself and knowing the benefits from it, I get it. But in this case, it's like taking, this is something that's just straight up comedy. Like Freely pointed out, you know, one part Freely pointed out how um, Nicole tells fat people to stop eating and she's and, and then you know freely responds like how can she even be allowed on YouTube? And it's you know, this is satire. Uh, Nicole is playing a character. She's a comedian. She makes fun of people, not just fat people, but everybody. And and she will definitely anything that is considered politically correct She's going to she's going to have she's going to do some kind of satire about it because, well, she's a comedian. That's what she does. And that's you know, that's really the extent of all of this. And and yet everybody's in this great uproar because she has, you know, done this uh, comic strip on fat people. And, you know, everybody's oh like it's the end of the world. Like, I know you. <laughs> Com comedians are artists, basically. So I guess I, I, I kind of relate to where Nicole is coming from as an artist. You know, you cannot allow people's sensitivities towards certain topics to dictate your content. The moment you do that, you become lame. And so, but anyways, freely here, she doesn't really, I don't think she really even cares about all that. She just uses this controversy, she hijacks this controversy that Nicole has found herself in and has just used it to promote her own message, her own agenda. And, you know, I think 
that's pretty shameless on Freely's part, but that's my, that's my opinion. I, I, you know, I know I'm probably shooting myself on the foot for even making this kind of comment towards Freely, but um, I just think that it's unfortunate, you know, you become, you start eating healthy, okay, you become a vegan, you get excited about it, and I, I get that in the beginning, you just want to tell everybody you're excited about it, it's like finding a new religion, and you want to spread the good news to everybody, but at some point, life goes on, and there's so much more out there, like get out of the vegan ghetto, take the sunglasses off, and go out into the world, it's a wonderful place, and then you can enjoy comedy for its own sake, it's just comedy. Anyhow, how's this, how's the quality of this video? How's my voice? I've got an external mic on my camera um, and I'm hoping that that will su suffice. I might have to use other alternatives like having uh, mics that you pin up on your neck. But you know, I'm dealing with one thing at a time here. It took me a while just to learn how to turn this camera on. Actually, that's kind of the story of my whole life is learning how to turn things on. Anyways, um, thank you. If you're still here watching this video, thank you very much. Um, and stay tuned. Lots of fun stuff coming up ahead.